Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expert back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about some updates on some of the NFT games we've been doing. Crypto Blades, Crypto Zoom, Block Creatures, Drake Ball, we've got a new one, Poker Monster. So, we've got a lot to cover. Let's get into the video, video and let's roll that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content. So when I upload my latest vids, you get notified immediately. If you don't, then don't hit that subscribe button. I do want to say stick to the end of the video because I want to give you the secret to these NFT games. Okay, there's basically two main secrets. So stick to the end. I want to give you some updates now on Crypto Blades. So there's a lot of updates. There's so many features and things that they've been implementing uh, with Crypto Blades. But look, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The bottom line is they've just halved the rewards again. And pretty much the gas that you're spending to have these battles, uh, it's like it's almost you're breaking even. Like, by the time you spend your gas on your battles, you're making such a little profit that it's almost not even worth doing. So what I've decided is I had five accounts. I've decided to sell off four accounts. Now, I've still got one account, which is this account you're seeing now. And, yeah, I just decided that it wasn't worth doing the time that you put in versus the profit. I mean, there's still profits, but it's really tiny, okay? It's really tiny, so it's not even worth doing if you look at it from uh, if you want to be become uh, if you want to make money from this. Obviously, the other benefit for me is you know I can do videos. You know that's kind of like the main thing to show you updates on it. But if you're trying to make a you know put food on the table, unfortunately, Crypto Blades has been crushed from their own success. They just gave way too much in the beginning. Five skill per account was free in game and the rewards were just massive and uh people that got in early took advantage of that made a lot of money and now they've had to slow the rewards so like made it so tiny now that it's not even worth it uh, which is sad because you know they've got such a good team their, their team you know got a good, really good community i don't even know how many people in crypto blades now but it's hundreds and thousands so We'll see what happens with Crypto Blades. Right now, at the, this point in time, I'm out. I sold off my accounts, uh, all the characters and the weapons. I got skill, and I'm using it for new projects. Speaking of new projects, this one here, Poker Monster. So this is only a days old, two days old, I believe. Uh, got into it, like it, they did a public launch bought into it and then started playing the game like probably eight hours later very similar thing you know you buy your characters then you battle and you can win more uh the native token okay so if you're familiar with crypto blades crypto zoom and drake ball then this is exactly pretty much the same thing one billion supply you know and this is the breakdown of tokenomics the roadmap you can have read of all this sort of stuff, okay? Um, this is the game here. So, I will say, out of all the games that I've played so far, which have this style of uh, gameplay, where you kind of battle and you win, you get a percentage rate of, like, what you can win. I would say that this is the most... Uh, like it's got the best graphics, graphically, looking at it. And what you do is, you basically come here... You can buy these uh, balls, I guess. Fire, water, thunder, frost, and trouble. And uh, it's 11,000 PK Mon, which is it's about $124. So, uh, yeah, still pretty cheap to get into this one, to get yourself a character. And then you just buy one of these, and then I think it just randomly gives you your uh, character, okay? This is one that I got here. It's called Brockus. It was a rare two level one. And then what you do is you just go to fighting. Oh, by the way, I'll give you a, a breakdown of the ROI that I've had on all these projects um, in a minute. Okay, so just uh, just hang in there if you're thinking about getting in, into any of these. So this is it here. You just come to this fighting, click on that, and then you just click fight. See, so it actually has got this kind of animated graphics, which is pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's... I, we know that it's just animated and it just does this every time. You pay gas, 
and it's got this kind of like little sequence that it goes through and it just makes it more of a game I guess even though it's the same animation every time but at least they put thought into it and the, most of these games don't have this uh, reward okay so I've got 2 XP and 232 PK Mon so it gets added automatically to your total so what was that 232 so that was two dollars sixty two cool okay so let's move on to the next one this is uh drake ball or crypto drake ball and i just thought i've done a video on this one actually a couple days ago so if you haven't watched that go back and watch this video to find out how to use this or how to play this game okay every hour i get a stamina and it takes three stamina to have a battle so i can have these battles now I'll show you actually how much I've made on this. I'll, first of all, I'll do the battle. So let's just go and do, I, knew, I normally do like 90%. My win rate with this is about 65%. Sometimes more, it just depends. It, But I think if you average them out, yeah, probably 65 or, or 70%. I don't know the exact amount, but you don't win every fight. Okay, let's put it that way. I th and I think it's more than 50%. Okay, so then I just won there. Now these battles here that I'm doing now, I won't, they won't be included into the uh, ROI because I've already done an ROI on this. So just these ones here that I'm doing now, I'll just exclude them. So I won that one. This one is for the rare level 4. So I hope I win this. Because it's basically it's double what I normally get for the rare ones. Yes, so I won that one, which was 0.95. See, so that's about 20. Well, not quite 20 bucks. Probably about 17 bucks. Depends on the price at the moment, whatever the price is. So that's those two battles. Because I've only so I've only got two stamina in each one. I need three stamina for a fight. So it's going to wait an hour, the hour before I can fight again for both of those. I've got seven stamina for these ones. I'm just going to just play two games on, on each character. And again, normally I do the 90% one. Yeah, I would say probably one out of four battles I lose. Sometimes I lose more, but it just depends. But the, the winning rate's pretty good. So this one here is... Uh, the level of XP is up a little bit, so I'm 0.7 on this one, which is pretty good. And I might do 70%. Oh, I'll be a bit daring on this one. See how I can squeeze a little bit more out of this one. Obviously a bit more risk. I've only got a 70% win rate. Oh, I did win. So 0.89. So yeah, this is um, this is almost getting up there now. Uh, I've got well, two more battles here. Let's go 90% battle. So you're going to pay gas every time, which is about 35 cents, 40 cents or whatever. Just depends. Oh, so I lost that one. See, I lost. Yeah, I've got one more battle. We're not for one more battle, so I might do this 70% one. Sometimes when I lose, I uh, I just try to double up again to, on the next one, if that makes sense. Okay, so I don't know what that's doing. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I'll just try this one then. Oh, 90% work for some reason 70% didn't work so just do 90% so it worked and I won 0 0.6, 0 0.6 of a D, D ball which is let's see $17 and a 1.6 so I won like what I don't know do the mass on that 8 bucks 9 bucks I guess so that's not too bad so if you exclude all the fights that I just showed you, okay, this is my ROI on my D-Ball in just three days. So these are all my rewards that I've earned. I've taken a screenshot of every single one of them, and I've added them all up. And this is how much I've made in three days. What I, I've purchased four characters, okay? So each character costs 21 D-Ball, and so far the rewards I've made 49 in D-Ball rewards so if you look at the uh, what I purchased which is what 84 and then you look at the 
rewards. I've made 49 back. So I initially purchased two and then I purchased two more. So it's kind of like the reason why I'm kind of like not in profit yet because of the two that I've purchased later. Otherwise, um, I, I would have already profited from the first lot. Okay. So I'm still down uh, about 30 D ball, give or take. Plus, if you just add the ones I just won now, which is about, oh, I don't know, three or four. Yeah, I'm probably about 26 D ball down. But um, I'm sitting here at 17 D ball, but only because I haven't sold them yet. I'm just waiting for it to go up, and then I sell them off. You know, I kind of just sell, sell them when they when they hit the top. So I'm still about 26 D ball down. But I've only been. This is only my third day, and I've got f basically four characters. So I'm thinking about buying some more characters, simply because it's so profitable right now. And I'll show you the numbers in a second, okay? So block creatures. This is the one that I did a video on. Would have been the, probably the last video, I think. But this one is a little bit different to D Ball and and the other ones. This one's really much much slower. The ROI in this one's well over a month. It's really slow earning. And you can see the actual Moolah rate right down here. It's 0.12 for an epic. It's uh, this experience level, right? So that's only 0.12, and you get basically you get three fights a day. Every eight hours, you gotta hit this train button, and you can win or lose. And I would say the win rate on this is probably about 50, 60 percent. So you can see how much how slow this is. It's much much slower. And then here, obviously, this one rare, it's less, 0.166. And then as you go down to, to uncommon and then common, it gets less and less. See, the rate from uncommon is only 0 0.09. 0 0.09. And then the uh, common is 0 0.08. So you can see you can see how it's going to take a while to get your uh, money back, all right, to break even. Because uh, if we go to mint, it costs you five mula to buy and fifteen mula for a uh, power up, okay, which gives you more boost. So you know you can see there that uh, it's clearly going to take a while, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because. It just means the game's slower, and um, and it just means it'll last longer. The thing with this one is there's not many people that... It's not really a, a game that's really popular at the moment, even though I made a video on it, and that brought in um, quite a few people, but in the grand scheme of things compared to other ones, I mean, even, even Pokemon Monster is uh, newer. It's only, like, two days old, and it's got more people playing that game compared to this one. It's, I think, about a, a week old. It's got less people playing it, so... This is not necessarily a bad thing, it just means your ROI is going to come back a lot a longer, it's going to take you longer. And, you know, we've seen with Crypto Blades, uh, what can happen when you give out too much in the beginning, um, your profits are called to next, next to nothing. Okay, so, you just got to pick on, like, pick which one you want, do you want fast, do you want slow, are you willing to wait for your ROI, you know, these are all the things you got to consider. So that's Block Creatures, Crypto Zoom. You know, I'm really liking this one now because they've had audits, uh, they've had new features come in. Um, you know, the FUD's still kind of gone, I guess. It's, you know, they did an upgrade, which people were flooding in the uh, Telegram. You know, it's just all this stuff that people don't uh, they get upset about, which is, you know, it's just normal. But this one is still pumping them out, like it's doing well. So I might as well fight, because I've got some uh, ones that I can fight with, so let's do the slime one first, because I can do one with slime. I always pick 80% and it tends to win it. Every time I use something else, it just, I never win, so hopefully, touch wood, we can win with this one. Alright, cool. So I've got 110. It only gives me one fight. And now I want to use this golem, which I've leveled up as well so i've got more experience points which has brought me to the next level they had this old pending rewards kind of thing i'm not really exactly sure what that is I'm probably going to cash this out well i'm going to wait three days before i can i can claim this now but they're going to give me a 15 percent tax let's just do this one here i'll do for 70 percent so crypto zoom has it's been really good this one actually because it's not as big as crypto blades and 
the revenue was still really good. Okay, lost that one. Oh, lost that one again. Let's do this one. Man, three losses in a row. What's going on? So I didn't do well at all with that one. Anyway, I lost. I won two and I lost three. So, anyway, it is what it is. So I've got. These are my rewards here. I've still got 3,900. I can get a. I can withdraw that. I'll incur a 15% tax. And then this one here. I've got 1,361 that I can uh, claim there. So that's Crypto Zoom. So playing these games, this is kind of like my own sort of numbers. Again, you know, I have different, I've got it in a different time at a different price. I've also got, you know, different characters and, you know, I'm at a different uh, ROI, a uh, different stage of the game as well. Okay, and also the holders. So there's so many variables. You really can't compare my results with your results. It's literally, you simply can't because I'm just in a different position and I started the game at a different time. But basically from what I'm looking here, my ROI with Crypto Blades, I would say never. If you're gonna think about joining Crypto Blades, I wouldn't do it now. Maybe when they start to implement, they've got some new things they're gonna implement. Uh, maybe the, the game might become more profitable later, but as of now, I would not buy into it. You've kind of missed the boat with that one, okay? Crypto Zoom, I think it's about 25 days, give or take. And I still I still like it. Pokemon Star, this is just based off kind of like, I've only been playing for two days, so uh, I estimate about 10 days for ROI. And Block Creatures, it's the slowest game out of them all. You know, I'm estimating here that it's about 45 days, a month and a half to ROI. And then lastly, Crypto Drake Ball, the ROI is three days. I mean, I bought more, I bought more characters, so that's why my ROI is not there anymore because I bought additional characters. But based off kind of like my numbers, if you were to buy one character and just play it for three days, you should be able to get your ROI back because it's still very profitable, as you can see from the ones I just did. So this just gives you an idea. Again, there's a lot of different variables. You need to um, uh, weigh them all up, and you have to first of all understand, you know, kind of like what each, where this, each game is before you get into it. And that, comes down to doing your own research. And lastly, I said I would reveal the secret to these NFT games. Number one, you gotta get in early, okay? You've got to get in early. If you're worried about some risk, whether it's, you know, they could fail or could do a rug or whatever, I'll wait till the actual game comes out. And then once the game comes out, it's usually a pump, uh, initial sort of hour or so, the coins are pumped and they're kind of like pull back and buy into it. Then you've got maybe four to eight hours to see the game, do a little bit of study on it, and then decide you want to invest. But certainly if you don't get in on the first day, it's, it's not gonna matter a whole great deal. Like it's gonna matter if you get into a game one month after, but not just if you miss one day, all right? Some people have this idea that if they miss, if they're not in on the first day or it's a day old or two days old, they're too late. Like, that sort of thinking is, that, like, honestly, I mean, the world's not going to end, okay? So, do your own research on this, but definitely get in as early as you can. Number two, go in as hard as you can, all right? Because obviously in the beginning, like we saw Crypto Blades, the people that got in when Crypto Blades was like $1 for, like, one skill, and then went to 190 you know, they, they were about to buy all these uh, characters and forge weapons and buy, buy more weapons for like one dollar a pop as the price increased to you know we saw it go up to like 50 60 80 100 dollars 120 dollars it's just way cost you way more to get in the game so by going harder in when it's still early and when their tokens are cheap that's when you're going to make the most money but then on the flip side of that is you're taking the biggest risk so this is a comes down to your risk tolerance. If you don't have a lot of money, you're just gonna have to take a lot more risk in the beginning in order to build up your stack. And it kind of leads on to my next point. Um, I don't kind of make, have time to do videos. Like I, at the moment I'm doing video every second day. Other YouTubers do one every day, but 
It's because I run the Patreon group and it takes a lot of my time. And in the Patreon group, we have more opportunities that basically prop up every day. And uh, I just don't have time to make making videos as much as I like to. So in the Patreon group, we, we, there's opportunities to get in early, right? So that's what we've got in the Patreon group. All the opportunities I haven't talked about that we've already got in. So if you want to get in early, click the link in the description below. It's it's not a massive fee, but it can make the difference, potentially to make you a lot of money if you get in early, like I just said. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you in any of these projects? Where are you at? How much money are you making? Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And